WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very sunny, very warm Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that we track, they're trading to the upside. All the sectors, with the exception being the uh, consumer staples sector, is also trading to the upside inside the S&P 500. Got Dow's, Dow's up 144, about four tenths of a percent. 86 points for the S&P, one and six tenths. Two and seven tenths for the NASDAQ 100. 509 points, six tenths for the Russell. 14 points, 5 percent, over 5 percent for the semis. That's a 253 point move there. Trade is up half a percent, 85 buckaroonies. You got gold trading up 16 bucks with silver trading down 15 pennies. Like to recruit up two dollars and change. Natural gas is off eight cents out there in the 30 year treasury. She's printed out at 120.28. That's up 22 ticks. Let's figure out what all this means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. Let's begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. We already have a buy the D point bottom that's in today would be a double confirmation of that there's a new profile with price finding support at the bottom of that profile 54.55 price should go target a sell zone and the sell zone is between 55.95 and 56.40 spot volatilics is trading below yesterday's low so that's a, a bullish signal for the uh, bulls for the s p 500 but it's still above its 50-day exponential moving average and that says on any rug pull which we could see one at about two o'clock out there we could see price start to, uh, uh, you could uh, you could see the S&P 500 start to pull back. If we take a look at the NQ, if it were to generate, if this was at an end of the session, we have a currently buy pattern because you got a nice big old bullish engulfing candle. However, what price is running into first is uh, resistance, and that's the bottom of its daily profile that formed three days ago. So that first key level of resistance for it, 19.522. In the case of the U.S. dollar index, found resistance up at the uh, bottom of its uh, daily and its uh, weekly profiles. And uh, you know, now moving back, pulling uh, lower out there. The, the weakness inside the U.S. dollar index is really coming from the yen, which has gotten substantially stronger overnight. If we take a look at Goldilocks, uh, gold is trading into a resistance spot, and that's at 2470. And that's the center of its uh, bullish structured profile out there. Whereas silver is trading, did I say silver is trading to the downside? I must have. It's not. Must have been looking at the wrong thing. In any event, silver is trading above the top of a daily profile that formed yesterday. So close today above 28.74 would be a profile change in trend. Light speed crude has got to buy the D point pattern as of this morning. The same thing inside of natural gas, which is consolidating with inside its profile. And a 30 year treasury is trying to break out above resistance, which at 120.24. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your day, have a terrific one. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care.